Earth. Mornings on One, weekdays 6 to 9, exclusively on Spectrum. And finally, Uber rolling out a new feature that will shed some more light on why you ended up with such a low rating. I'll say you. <laughs> a lot of this yeah, like, is talking, talking to. Talking about this. <laughs> Uber now offers riders the option of seeing a breakdown on how many drivers left them a one star rating, a five star rating, and all the ratings in between. Before this, Uber users were only able to see their average rating. Uber says the goal of this new feature is to offer consumers a better understanding of their current rating and to incentivize good behavior during rides. Uber relies on a two way rating system to help hold passengers and drivers accountable during rides. Drivers and riders with low ratings. They do risk uh, the possibility of being deactivated from the platform. So, New York City, any guesses? We rank as the rudest riders. So, we basically have the lowest ratings for Uber riders. And they base this on a lot of different things. You know, they say you can boost your ratings by cleaning up after yourself, buckling up, don't be, or try to be more respectful, I don't slam the door. I find it so cringy and embarrassing if you're with someone who's rude to an Uber driver. Oh, for sure. Or a driver. And any person yeah. performing any kind of service. No, <laughs> it's true. And look, this is a good reminder that to be polite, I have to say, in my experience, Uber drivers have been wonderful here in New York, but yeah. I had a terrible experience in Texas with an Uber driver who was rude to us and he refused to wear his mask and then he gave us a bad rating because <laughs> oh, no. he was trying to preemptively go against me. So there's that friction sometimes. But to Jamie's point, if everybody can be nice and understand yeah. that we all have certain stresses in life, we'll be in a better place and have more five-star ratings along the way. <laughs> Coming up...